Diapers are primarily worn by children, but some adults wear them too for various reasons. The conveniences of using these products is unquestionable, but a relatively unknown problem is associated with how we dispose of them. This environmental scientist says diapers and sanitary towers contain non-renewable petroleum-based products that are harmful to humans and the environment. Diapers and disposable uh, materials are not biodegradable. And so once you use them and throw them into the environment, then they just remain in the environment that way. And besides, after a long while, some of them release some of the toxins that are inside of them. For example, some of them contain dioxins. Globally, landfills are usually where disposable diapers, sanitary napkins and panty liner end up. Properly collected refuse end up in landfills like this, and this includes disposable diapers. And according to experts, it takes about 500 years for diapers to decompose, and they eventually start emitting a greenhouse gas called methane. The main problem is that we don't sort our refuse from sorts. Everything is modeled up to the landfill. Recently, South Africa embarked on a campaign to encourage mothers to use reusable diapers in order to reduce the huge amount of throwaway diapers on their already overfilled landfill sites. However, Dr. Iyaye says the solution lies in adequate funding of African scientists to carry out research for effective management of waste and help produce eco-friendly diapers for the continent. I will also employ industries also, maybe the industries also producing these diapers to also um, stimulate some sort of research or put in some funding for some sort of research that will come up with alternatives, better alternatives for diapers and sanitary pads. So whether you choose to use reusable sanitary cloth and diaper or choose to dispose of your disposables correctly, the environmental choice is yours. Vivian Irikefe, TVC News, Lagos.